Why are people left-handed? Well, it's because they're witches. Thanks for watching D News. Subscribe and follow us on Twitter. Okay, we're not witches. I'm Anthony for D News, and no one can quite figure out why me and 10% of the world's population are left-handed. Doesn't seem to make a lot of sense. Handedness itself does, from an evolutionary standpoint. Having one hand that you default to for common tasks speed things up, because you know what hand to use at a moment's notice, and back when we were first learning to survive, a moment could be the difference between life and death. But so, why wouldn't we all just evolve into being right-handed? Without any sort of evolutionary advantage, wouldn't left-handedness disappear if it ever showed up at all? Some studies think it gives us an advantage against one another. One study showed that societies that put importance on cooperation and tool sharing have fewer left-handed people. More competitive societies have more of them. In sports like boxing, tennis, fencing, left-handed combatants are sometimes considered to have advantages because they throw people off by attacking at different angles. So in an early society, getting into a fight with somebody left-handed could be dangerous. But if we witches have a competitive advantage, wouldn't our numbers rise instead of staying fairly steady? What if it's not evolution at all? There's a school of thought that says all left-handedness is actually caused by damage to a fetus while it's in utero or during birth. The damage to the brain causes it to rewire and use certain sections of itself in unintended ways, kind of like it does to some people after a stroke. So people turn out left-handed, and that could also explain why left-handed people use the right side of their brain more. It's not just the causes of being left-handed that aren't understood either. There are lots of myths about the effects that it has too. Left-handed people are reported to have more problems with dyslexia, schizophrenia, and uh, immunity disorders. We supposedly die earlier. Up until the middle of the 20th century, left-handed people were thought to be clumsy and awkward. But that was probably because up until the middle of the 20th century, being left-handed was supposed to be a correctable condition that teachers tried to fix in kids by turning them right-handed. On the other hand, that was not a joke, but I guess it is one now, we're also supposedly artistic geniuses and visionary leaders. Out of the last five US presidents, three were left-handed and Reagan was ambidextrous. So he sort of counts for both sides. Bach was left-handed, Jimi Hendrix, Kurt Cobain, Paul McCartney, Da Vinci, Michelangelo, Luke Skywalker, John McClane. That's a pretty good list. Both theories seem to be anecdotal at best though, because while left-handed people do use their corpus callosum and other more spatially oriented parts of their brain more often, any evidence that we're better or worse than other people seems to be contradictory at best. But let's just assume left-handed people are better, because I always have. If you're interested in contesting that point, or if you have any other questions, you wanna to talk to me and Lacey or Trace about anything, here's your chance. We're having another live Google Hangout today at 4 p.m. Pacific time. You can ask us questions here in the description of this video. You can ask them on Twitter or live during the Hangout. So click in the description below to RSVP, and we'll see you there.